Sarah Marshall and this is my friend Stephanie Martinez. We are so excited that you're joining us today. You know, in this particular time of history, God is speaking in the midst of all the loud noises. It seems like everybody's got something to say, but you know, God's got something to say that's always pushing us forward, always giving us answers, gently um, getting us back in line with his good will because it's always good mm -hmm. in his will is always good for us so in this time we were talking and sharing the other day how different things that god's speaking to you mm -hmm. and and sometimes it's a gentle correction sometimes it's an encouragement sometimes it's like wow or mm -hmm. oh me but it always gives you a sense of thank you father you're looking out for me mm -hmm. and um I, I just want you to share we're out in your garden we are <laughs> this is my happy place my my present from my very sweet husband Yay. and this is one of my favorite places to be um in the summer nights i love to come out here and work and i like to harvest my basil and make pesto which turned out really well so good y'all it was good um but I just, this is my happy place. So welcome to my garden. But you know, as I was working out here the other week, um, I just felt like I was speaking to me while I was gardening. You know, he wants to be a part of and show up in the middle of our everyday activities. He wants to be there. He wants to speak his truth into those moments that we're just doing yeah. what we do, right? Right. So. I was working on my tomatoes and um, at that point they were very bushy and they looked impressive. You know, they looked like there was a lot um, going on and there was, but I had watched a YouTube clip because I'm just a hobby gardener. No, no judgment, please. It's, no, no judgment. I'm please. learning. I'm learning as I go. And we know a lot of people out there that we can tell by their Facebook posts amazing you gardens. have a, yeah. you have beautiful gardens i'm yeah. seeing them and loving them i love the pictures of them i'm a hobby gardener so feel free to shoot pretty, me ideas pretty awesome though <laughs> so i watched a youtube clip and on this clip it said that you should tear off the branches that don't have tomatoes growing don't have flowers don't have fruit coming on them because those branches and those vines just take away energy from the fruit producing vines. So I know, right? So I started like taking them off and, you know, doing that and pruning them back. And um, all of a sudden my tomato plants, they looked like naked. They looked <laughs> kind of unimpressive, but it made me think about what Jesus talks about, how the father's the gardener and how he prunes and how he takes back so that it can be more fruitful, so it can be more effective and efficient. And as I'm doing this, I just found myself starting to pray like, Lord, take away the things in my life that are just taking up energy, but that aren't producing fruit in my life. I want to produce fruit. So I was, I just started praying that as I was working on the tomato plants and then I also saw in the YouTube clips that um, where two branches connect, oftentimes a little shoot comes up right in the middle. And do you know what it's called? No. A sucker. Wow. I know. It's called a sucker. And do you I'm have like, any suckers in your life? <laughs> <laughs> Don't we all? But I was thinking about it. And as I'm like, as I'm again going through my garden and I'm finding suckers and some suckers I saw they were just little I caught them but then some were like pretty long I'm like well you sucker I've been there for a while and it just again it kind of led me to start praying for for my life for my friends lives like mm -hmm. God intervene and take away and help me to recognize the suckers those things that are intersecting and and kind of being an offshoot of the intersection of two branches in my life and that are like kind of bringing some divide and just asking him to just take those away because they're again just consuming energy and producing nothing wow. and that's not how I want to live no it's not and you know now your your plants are impressive again but they're beautiful and healthy fruit. Mm -hmm. And you know, when we were talking, I was thinking, wow, so many times 
we can, we, someone, even us, let, let's deal with us. But, you know, you can puff yourself up and wow, that person is really impressive. They're very loud and they, they quote all this stuff off, but it's, it's all like leaves and suckers and mm -hmm. where's the fruit in there? Where, right. where's the good fruit that you can right. eat? And, and it's good for you. And, yes. and I think that's what you're saying is God wants to do something in our lives where we have to remove the suckers. Yes. The, the things in our life that are taking us away from God growing good fruit in mm -hmm. us and not only feed us, but feed others that we love, right? Absolutely, absolutely. And having, you know, my bushy tomato plants, they looked so good, but it wasn't all good. It just looked impressive, like you said, but I want to have a life that is fruit producing, not just impressive looking. And sometimes that means tearing things away and making things look almost unimpressive. And um, sometimes that's the way he works. He prunes things in our lives that, um, that will help us become more, um, more fruitful. And that's what I want. Me too. And I think it, the word says, take courage. Mm -hmm. and, and I think uh, you have to be <laughs> courageous to let that happen. You do. Sometimes also we can kind of um, make our own theology up and say, well, God is, um, God is, is, is doing this to me. God prunes mm -hmm. us, but it always, when things happen, it's always for our good. Mm -hmm. And I don't know about you, but I, I know Steph and I, a year from now, we want to be stronger. Mm -hmm. We want to be more healed. Mm -hmm. We want to be more free of mm -hmm. the suckers in our life. Mm -hmm. We want to. We want to have fruit that doesn't matter if everyone said what an impressive plant. We want the fruit to be tasty, mm -hmm. to feed us, mm -hmm. to feed others. And mm -hmm. I believe that there's a lot of you watching mm -hmm. that you know you're willing to take courage, and you're going to have to put your big girl pants on. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know and. And there's things that happen in life are hard and maybe you keep going around the mountain and you keep man why does this keep happening well sometimes it is life sometimes things happen but sometimes it's the suckers that got in mm -hmm. that you're mm -hmm. going to have to allow the Lord and mm -hmm. give the Lord permission mm -hmm. to cut away mm -hmm. so the fruit can grow mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. yes and I I'm learning more and more that this is a process that is continual mm -hmm. it Jesus requires says. upkeep you know, just like with my tomato plants, I just got back um, from being out of town for a few days and I'm amazed. I just did this before I left and I have to do it again because more suckers are there and, you know, more vines that don't have fruit. It, it is a continual process that we have to do this and constantly be willing to go through this process of pruning so that we can be fruitful. You know? And that, when when you prune, then doesn't it the nutrients and the um, and the water and the fertilizer it does its job better, right? Yes. So I think you know, get into the word every day. Don't just get into it just like oh I can't check. Sing a song you've been <laughs> you've been hearing about worship. Like sing a song unto the Lord of declaration. Sing of His goodness. Be thankful. These are watering things. These are things mm -hmm. that happen. Mm -hmm. But you know, prune away you know, unforgiveness, prune mm -hmm. away, um, being enamored with yesterday and the mm -hmm. way things That's happen. Right. You know, Paul in the Bible said this one thing I do, forgetting the past, mm -hmm. I press on to what God has for me. Mm -hmm. Um, there's different ways of pruning there. There's some even situations that you've set yourself in agreement with a lie and you take that as truth. Mm -hmm. um, submit to the pruning of the Lord to, mm -hmm. to really listen to truth and mm -hmm. say, you know what, Lord, I repent of that. I realize mm -hmm. I was not thinking right in that area. Mm -hmm. And um, I'm excited about, about that happening. And I think what you said, all our lives, God's going to do this. Mm -hmm. It's nothing that we should be scared about. No. And you know, it's people always take the word repentance and somehow think it's a bad word. Mm -hmm. I'm excited about repentance. It means to change your way of thinking and go the opposite direction. Mm -hmm. And you know, to, to take something that God said, prune this, I'm gonna mm -hmm. take this away, but this is gonna grow. It's mm -hmm. always, God is for us. He's not yes. against us. Right. And it doesn't always feel good. And you know, you yes, would have been amazed amen. at the pile that I had 
of things that I took off, but I'm watching the tomato plants respond in such an incredible way. And it's the same in our own lives. The yeah. times that it looks like he's just piling things and, you know, this is being cut back. And, you know, maybe for me at one time, there were less ministry opportunities. And it's like, oh, that doesn't feel good. And it looks like everything's just in a heap and in a pile. But he, he was just stripping things away so that my heart could be connected to him in a stronger way so that I would be ready for the next season that he had. You know, there are times in mothering where some things have to be set aside. Some of the activities that I would do because I had a little one. That's right. So there are times when our schedules get pruned. And again, it's not That's to cool. harm us. It's not to make us less. It's to make us more fruitful right. and it's to help us be healthy mm -hmm. and help our relationships mm -hmm. be healthy. Mm -hmm. So God has good things for us. It's just sometimes the process of going about it seems a little contradictory. Yeah. And, and you know, let's enjoy the process. I know mm -hmm. that sounds uh sometimes you know we scorn the process mm -hmm. i i've always been the kind of person that you know if the goal is to go to the second floor my inclination goes well i'll just jump from the first floor <laughs> to the second floor um usually you can sprain something that way but you know it's it's a lot of times one step at a time mm -hmm. and you know when you're on the first step you can see things that you don't see on the second step you know Josiah, you've got little things on on the stairs going up. That you're mm -hmm. you're training at these, learning some <laughs> things, and you know God always has a process. And and to enjoy um, motherhood, enjoy where you're at, and mm -hmm. and what are those things that God wants to allow you to let go of, mm -hmm. so you can focus on what God has before you, mm -hmm. and then those other doors will open, and you will have savored and have good fruit and healthy fruit to go into the next thing that right. God has for you. Yeah, mm -hmm. absolutely. And God loves fruit producing things. In fact, you know, in the Bible, he saw a fig tree one day with his disciples yeah. as they were walking and it didn't have fruit on it. Yeah. And he actually cursed it and, and commanded it to die because it wasn't doing what it was intended to do in its, in its created purpose, which was to produce fruit. Mm -hmm. God desires our lives to produce fruit. But the only way we're gonna produce fruit is if we stay attached and rooted to the Lord, if we stay attached and rooted. And then when the fruit comes, back here behind me are some pepper plants that need some help right now, because look at this, they have beautiful fruit on them, but the fruit gets heavy. So I actually need to stake them. So wow. as God produces fruit in our lives, then he calls us to stand with one another Ooh, to help stake us together yeah. and stand together to support the fruit and the good things that he's producing in our lives. And he calls us to a place of community and standing with each other. So I am going to stake these, but everyone's out of bamboo stakes. <laughs> so I will stake them eventually because there's stake. good fruit here that needs to be held up. Yeah. So, but that's relationship, that's community, that's saying, you know what, God's producing a good thing in you, I'm gonna stand with you, I'm gonna agree with you, I'm gonna stake myself with to you and stand in what God is doing in your life and the good things that are coming out of it. I'm gonna celebrate and support the fruit that's coming out of your life. That's I'm not so gonna, good. I'm not gonna think, well, there's, I, I hope she doesn't get that because then I won't have enough nutrients or I won't have enough water. So there's no competition back here. There's no competition because there's enough to go around. There's enough to go around with Jesus. And we can come into agreement with one another. I can see the good fruit in mm -hmm. your life and say, oh, that's so awesome. I can celebrate it. I can stand with you. I can support it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wow, I, I'm just pondering this is so good. Um, just the, the beautiful picture of the stake. You know, there's sometimes I can see even in, in just my mind flashing many times in my life where God was producing fruit. Mm -hmm. You know, I had been obedient, I'd let, but didn't have the right partnerships. Mm -hmm. Everything was, I was actually in God's will and fruit was, was mm -hmm. going on. 
but didn't have the relationships that I needed mm -hmm. and and it started bending over right. and so you know in closing Steph I'd really like you to pray um, for you all because I, I just feel like there's some of you that God is speaking to you right now mm -hmm. um, God does have good things for us mm -hmm. he does want our plants to grow us to grow and not only feed us, but feed many around us, to be the fragrance of Jesus to the world, to, to feed the world his goodness, to his, his truth, his love, his, his joy, his mercy. But there's, there's times that maybe perhaps some of you um, have not submitted like I have, not wanted to submit to God, I submit to what you're doing because I know it's good, and just be willing um, to do that. And I know some of you are thinking that, and some of you are also realizing like I did, Oh Lord, there have been times when I didn't have the right relationships. Mm -hmm. And some of you, you know, I, I'm thinking of one scripture, and I know this is gonna sound a little hard, but there's a there's a scripture in the word of God. It says, do not sit on the house, do not sit on the couch of the scorner. In other words, don't hang out with angry men, it says, lest you become like them. Mm -hmm. So people that are, are scorners, angry people all the time, if you're very close to those people, um, you'll become like them. And some of you, I know the Holy Spirit's speaking to you right now and you're kind of feeling fooey. I, I think that's happening. And so as, as Stephanie's praying, God, there's no condemnation, but, but God, let him. He's a good father. He wants to prune the suckers out of our life, of our thinking, of our situation. And then he wants to lead us. I love that picture. Because Steph, you're one of those, those strong what he calls stakes in my life and God wants to bring you stakes in your life so as you pray I believe God's gonna do something yeah. father thank you so much for the beauty of creation the beauty of life the beauty of planting and reaping and the beauty of growth and process and father forgive us for the times that we don't appreciate the process and what it means and how it's necessary. Forgive us for those times. And Lord, we invite you to prune away the things that are just stealing energy, but not producing fruit in our lives. We want to be fruit producers, fruit bearers that could nourish us, that could nourish others. So I thank you for pruning away those things. I thank you for, for giving us the courage to give you permission to prune away those things in our lives. I thank you, Jesus, for the young mom that's watching right now who, who feels like, if, who feels insignificant in what she's doing and, and feels and wonders how changing diapers can be spiritual. I thank you that she is, is it's like a beautiful act of worship as she's even changing diapers and caring for that little one that you have entrusted to her. Father, encourage her heart, even if this season feels like it's very pruned and it, it doesn't look impressive. God, just encourage her heart. And God, I thank you that you are dealing with the suckers in our lives, those things that just cut in between where two branches connect, those the things that divide. I thank you that you are removing them, that you are taking them away, those things that um, are dividing and, and putting dividers between us and you and those things that are putting dividers between us and other godly partners that you have for our lives and I thank you father for bringing covenant friendships into our lives as women that we would be able to um, stand with others and celebrate the fruit that you are producing in each other as well as being a stake for somebody else to recognize good fruit in other people so that we can stand and support and celebrate. God, you're so good. And I thank you that you, you are tenderhearted and you are also a jealous God who desires first place in our hearts and lives. And I thank you for doing what needs to be done in us so that we can be all that you have intended us to be. In Jesus' name. Thanks so much for joining us today. May you just always be fearless and faithful.